Welcome everybody to another World of Tanks replay. My name is Maxwell and this one is from the user Passion Ends. He's driving the WZ 132 on an encounter battle on Muravanka. WZ-132 is a tier 8 light tank for the Chinese. Pretty damn good light tank as well. Gets a pretty decent gun on it. If we take a look at the hard stats, 189 pen and uh, 250 average damage for a light tank. That's not too bad at all. This thing is nicely manoeuvrable as well. Unfortunately, it does suffer from the Chinese lack of gun depression. But it is a light tank, so it's expected to spot more than shoot. But there is going to be quite a bit of shooting in this game, as you're about to see. So he's done a good job of spotting in the centre here. The only one to take up this position. Sometimes you can run smack headlong into an enemy light -like tank, spotting in the same kind of place on the opposite side. And that can get a little bit embarrassing. Luckily the road in the centre is raised, so it does provide a little bit of cover. Just focusing in on this T-43. Doesn't want to open fire just yet and give away his position. He's a little bit more valuable to the team as a spotter right now than he is as a damage dealer. Which is why he hasn't opened fire yet. Throwing, showing some good discipline. Not pulling the trigger. But this T-43 is coming closing in now. Almost certainly going to be spotted any moment now. Going to wait till the last second. There we go. His sixth cent goes off. Drops back. The T-43 fires but only hits the dirt. Is he going to try and risk coming all the way over? He is. Passion ends. Takes a little bit of damage. But that T-43 has to run away. Takes another hit in the rear. Does track the T-43. And there we go. He gets ammo racked by the Waffentrager. I don't know where he was expecting to run to because he was behind enemy lines at the time there. But now with the spotting in the centre all done with, Passion Ends is going to try and help out on this left-hand flank and get some damage on the FV as he backs away. FV not paying any attention in this direction, which is probably smart for him, taking out the low health tank. But he's got too many guns facing him and he drops now. Battle going well on this flank, but pretty terribly on the other flank. And the other flank is where the objective is. So this may end up being a little bit of an awkward battle. Passion End's going to head back towards the centre. There are a few tanks still in and around the spawn location for the enemy. You can see that T-10. There was also a Lerva spotted there at some point, as well as a Type 64. Type 64 has probably moved on at this point, so Passion just... Focusing on the middle there, trying to take down a building so he can get a clear shot. Got to play it pretty carefully though, because he is uh, he has taken a little bit of damage. Now it looks like the enemy team comfortable to move in towards this cap circle. Ashen going to try and get a hit on someone. Finds a T-54 lightweight, gets a lovely shot through his side. Gets a nice, uh, nice damage roll on him as well. Now he's going to focus in on this VK. Gets a lovely hit on him as well going to try and focus down this VK while he's up on top of the hill there. Managed to set him on fire, but he did manage to put that one out. Still a nice little bit extra damage from a fire is always good. Now trying to find a shot on this Lerva. It looks like he is behind cover. Ally's got to play it carefully here because there's a T-54 lightweight flanking around behind them. If this SU-152 was worth his salt, he should be able to take him out no problem. Looks like the T-54 has spotted him now. But anyway, back to this action. Trying to focus in on an IS-6. It's a zero damage crit. I'm going to try and get another hit here. Trying to decide which part of the IS-6 to fire at. Uh, wasn't quite sure whether that was the front or the rear armour of the IS-6. Finds a Super Pershing, a T-30 and a T-29. He has disturbed the Hornet's Nest. Trying to keep buildings between himself. And the guns of the enemy team. There's only a couple of them on the enemy team. Actually, no, he's here. That Super Pershing is looking in this direction. Gets another fire as well. That's a lovely stroke of luck. And as you can see, Passion Ends trying to spread his damage around as, uh, as effectively as he can. Just to keep that cap clock down. Rather than going for the kill on the T-29. T-30 does look in this direction. So he's going to dive behind this house. Like I said, the Super Pershing was the only person looking in this direction, but it looks like he's got the attention of most of them now. Unfortunately, there is nobody else. Sees the Type 64 just a little bit too late and takes a hit in the face for his trouble. Going to see if he can get a shot back, but the Type 64 is able again to cover in time. Doesn't want to chance that one. That's smart play. Going to keep an eye on him. Just to keep him off the back of their tank destroyers. Oh, takes a very unlucky snapshot from the Lerva there. 
Now we're going to go for the Super Pershing. Gets a lovely shot through the top of his turret, keeping the cap clock down as much as possible. There's a whole bunch of them in there. Takes a hit from that Type 64. He's got to back away behind the building now. Doesn't want to back off too far, or he will be a target again. Type 64 has left himself out way too long. He gets taken out, and that's actually the first kill now for Passion Ends. Although he has done a whole huge bunch of damage. And here we go. Still two of them. Or is it three of them in the cap circle? Should be able to take out this T29. There we go. If he gets a good high roll, maybe it'll take out this T30 as well. But it looks like a couple of them are looking in this direction. Switches his attention to the Lerva instead. Again, just keeping that cap clock down. T30 gets obliterated by the Waffentrager. And thankfully, only that Lerva in the cap circle at the moment. The Super Pershing has come forward to try and deal with the tank destroyers. And this IS-6 hidden around the side of this building. Not quite able to get a shot on him. As he dives back into cover. If he does poke himself out, Passion Ends has APCR loaded. That may be enough to take out the IS-6. Can he get the shot? He can indeed. That's kill number three. Gets the IS-6. And that has even the score at 12 to 12. Not really sure where this T-54 lightweight is. He's off around the map taking out artillery by the looks of it. Passion Ends doesn't want to be the first one around this corner. Going to wait for the Lerva to fire. There we go. He has a shot. Going to try and put this one through his lower plate. Didn't quite aim that one long enough. But he will be able to fire twice before the Lerva reloads. Because it does have that horrible, horrible reload. He fires again. Passion Ends should be able to take him out here. As long as he spends enough time aiming. No. And that one just bounces because of the angled Lerva. The ang now the Lerva doing the only smart thing of straightening up his perfectly angled armor to allow Passion Ends to take him out. If he'd stayed angled, uh, he may not have had the penetration required. But look at this, the T-54 light has now turned up with the help of the Super Pershing. He's going to try and get around behind them, try and keep the Centurion 7-1 alive. Going to go for the lightweight because he is the most dangerous target. Neither of them were a one-shot, although he himself is Super Pershing, actually being very, very map aware here. He wasn't the one that took the hit, but he is the one with his gun pointed in this direction. They've got to be careful. There we go. The Centurion gets himself taken out, and Passion Ends wasn't able to help him because the Super Persian kept his gun focused very well on this location. Now it is time to fall back into the shadows, Batman style, and attack these guys from a different angle. We're just going to speed this one up ever so slightly. Finds a Super Pershing, aims just as long as he dares, which isn't long enough, and then has to get into cover. Super Pershing not got a great gun, but it's going to be more than enough to take out this light tank. Rushes that shot as well, and that also didn't go through. Very lucky to bounce that shot, and the Super Pershing is backing away, and that one just goes into the turret didn't actually do any damage. Looks like the T-54 Lightweight is stubbornly staying in the cap circle. If the if he came out and tried to flank around Passion Ends here, they may be able to get him. Looks like he's just falling back. I'm going to try and come at them from a different angle. I think he's cut in a little bit too early here. As we can see, that is the case. This is six cents goes off. So the two enemy tanks know that he's coming from this direction. I thought he'd cut in slightly early and gotten slightly too close to the cap, so he has been spotted. He's going to have to try and attack from a different position. I think he's opting to just come straight in. Maybe do a drive-by. Or just get some idea of what position these tanks are in. Hasn't spotted anybody just yet. There we go. There's the Super Pershing. There goes the Super Pershing. He gets taken out. That's kill number five. That leaves himself as a one-shot versus a one-shot T-54 light. He's just going to back off now, try and get himself into stealth. Looks like, again, this T-54 light stubbornly just going for the cap. Like I said, while that Super Pershing was up on the hill, if the T-54 light had come out of the cap circle and tried to flank around Passion Ends, there would have been nothing he could do about it. I think he's just going to hope for the surprise here because he knows when he's coming. The T-54 light does, and he's making a run. He gets the shot. He gets the kill. That is the victory, and that is the win. Absolutely awesome game played there by Passion Ends, picking himself up six kills, a whole bunch of damage, and totally winning that one for his team. So awesome replay from you. Thank you very much for sending that one in. Don't forget, guys, if you've got yourself a great replay, send that into replay at screenreality.com. Link for that's in the description. 
I've been Maxwell, this has been a Wall of Tanks replay, and I'll catch you guys next time.